everyone so you've just seen my new lights uh, which I've made which are on the Z these are my old ones as you can tell I've taken the front lens off um, if you want to know how to do that you can have a look on the, uh, the other videos there's a video on there what actually shows you how to do that okay so this is the lens I've taken the pinstripes what I had off and they look like them now in this part here what we're going to have as you saw on the others I've made one up already these LEDs for the middle part all I've been using is this alloy spray paint just to give it a bit of a silver look uh, I've got about two more coats to do on that now the stuff I'm using is this Okay, so it is transparent. Uh, oh, this is Perspex. Right, so I've just taken my lenses out of this one. As you can see, this is my old setup. Uh, this is the only problem with hot glue guns. As you can see, glue has literally melted in the hot weather and just gone down everywhere. So I need to clean all this up, and then what we're going to do is spray the inside of this black. And that sounds like a stupid idea, but trust me. When the Perspex is on, however it is. So when the Perspex is on, you can see it's silver past there. But if it's black, you can't tell. And it gives it more of a incognito look as well. So I'll take these lights out. I'm going to spray it black, take all the glue off, and I'll show you what it looks like then. All right. So as you can see, I've been painting this the silver again, and these are the Perspex that I've cut out of the sheet. Now to do this, I've actually been using an angle grinder with a really thin um, disc on it so it cuts straight through it melts it that's why I've got all these white things all over me it's molten plastic um, just stings a bit so that is it at the moment I'm just waiting for the paint to dry painted that black also and then it'll be time to be putting the indicators in putting it all back together so as you can see I've glued round on it with a heat gun but I've also put some Gorilla Glue at the bottom of these as well so if this does melt and go down the Gorilla Glue will be fine. Alright so I've glued the um, the lenses in um, with the hot glue gun but I'm going to reinforce it with Gorilla Glue now. Uh, I'm not too bothered about this little mark here because it'll be covered when the light all goes together so I'm not too bothered about that. All the lights are inside there, all the indicators, obviously the bulbs are in the car for them. Um, so yeah progress of progress. Um, I think now it's time to clean up everything. These have to be especially clean because obviously you put the lens on you can't take it back off. Well you can but it's a big job. Now I've been using this to clean uh, to clean all the lenses and everything. That, as you can see from that one I've got a couple of scuffs I need to get out on that but it looks really really clean. So that's what I've been using. Uh, so Oh, and also, before I put the lens on, I'll be putting that onto that. Sorry, the lens, the bulbs are in there, sorry. But, um, yeah, I'll be putting it onto that because of this hole. So you put it on, and then you drill through, make a little pilot hole so it goes through the lens, and then you can make it bigger so it just fits on, so you can screw it together, and it fits perfectly. Alright, so now the lenses are on and the bulbs are inside. As you can see, I've made this hole, which if it focuses, you can see it goes straight through and the lens will be able to go on top of that and sit very nicely on top. So that is it for that part, it's just down to putting the lens on. Uh, like I said, if you want to see how you do it and everything, then go on to one of the other videos that will show you how to make, I think it's called 99 Replica or Spec Lights. Um, but yeah, it'll show you how to do it on there. All it is is just heat going, heating it up, and uh, putting the screw through, and it'll keep on. So then, let's go put this on the car, and I'll show you what it looks like all together. Right, so the lights are on. Um, obviously, it's still daytime, so they're, they're not very bright. These look uh, very dim, but in reality, they're not bad at all. Uh, I'll show you what they look like in the dark now. Right, so these are the lights in the dark now. I'm quite liking these bulbs on show kind of thing. I quite like it. You can't see them when they're off, obviously, but when I like that, they actually look really, really cool. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy with them. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe, etc, etc. Uh, there's plenty more content to come. Um, I'm actually really, really impressed with how these lights turned out. Uh, maybe in the future, I will make some to sell, maybe? I, I don't know. It depends what people want, really. I could make it to what people want the specs. Um, but I'll tell you now, the, the little arrows, they came from China, from eBay. They were like three pound something for two, um, so I had eight all together. So you can do the math on that. Um, so yeah, other than that, the bulbs I got off Amazon. Um, other than that, it was just easy stuff you can just get off the shelf to be honest. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, so see you real soon. Don't forget like, subscribe, share. See you later.